Hi, it's Ananda from Vital, and today I'm actually going to do a book review, um, so a little bit of a departure from uh, the norm. But uh, this book uh, we have found has just been so popular and actually been getting such good reviews, and I just think it's a really, really valuable healing tool, not just for people with skin conditions, but in general. And it's The Secret Language of Your Body, The Essential Guide to Healing by Inner Seagal. So I'm just going to hold that up there. Okay. Uh, so that's the book. Um, and what the, basically the book does, it, it, it says that any issue, any health issue has an underlying emotional component and that if we start to take responsibility for healing, then any part of that is looking at the emotional component of that illness. Um, so in saying, in taking that responsibility, you also have to address your emotional issues. And it goes through and it shows you or talks about how to actually do that healing. Now, um, 20 years ago or so, or even longer now, Louise Hayes brought out her book about the emotional connections to healing. So this isn't a new concept. Ina Segal takes this a step further because she doesn't li just list the emotional connections. She shows you how to work through them and start that healing process for, your he for yourself. And what I love about this, that instead of going, I'm sick, I've got a physical issue or emotional issue, I need help, I'm going to go and hand over responsibility for my health to a doctor, a naturopath, a chiropractor, you know, a counsellor. I'm just going to go, I need your help. And sometimes, look, that's really appropriate. But taking responsibility for healing also means that you have to look after your own needs as well and you have to start doing some of the work. And this book is actually a tool it gives you the tools to show you how to take on that responsibility yourself and start that process for yourself. Okay, so I'm going to just go through and talk about, you know, of course I'm going to look at skin. And uh, in as part of that, I, I just uh, picked up uh, this. And skin is the failure to protect or be protected. Now, when you think about the skin, it's the protective layer over all of our bodies. So if we're not feeling emotionally protected or, you know, protected in, you know, self-protected, then where else would it show up but on our skin? It also says feeling irritated, angry and frustrated, or frustrated, like someone or something is getting under your skin. And that's a telling um, phrase, isn't it? Someone else is getting under your skin. But when I look at skin conditions, and I see a lot, I often describe the skin as being angry and irritated. And again, it's that emotional reflection in the skin. Okay, so timid, withdrawn, insecure, feeling second best. I could again bring it back to, and particularly teenage girls and boys, when they've got acne, they tend to withdraw. That's a time for really developing themselves and getting out there in the world, but they've got this skin condition and they don't feel a sense of self-worth, so they tend to withdraw or feel second best. So, and they talk about the remedy. They think about, do you think about uh, who or what is getting under your skin? What are you not expressing? Um, and it talks about methods of, you know, actually healing and cleansing your skin and cleansing the emotional connections that go with that. Now, so it doesn't just address, you know, the skin, it addresses all the body systems and it actually addresses specific um, skin conditions and as well as physical conditions. Again, I'm just going to give you a skin example, only this one, it's um, acne. And uh, so acne is feeling uncomfortable in your own skin, insecure, unacceptable, rejected, not good enough, unworthy. Okay, so, and that's specific to acne. It talks about the emotions that are associated and how to work with those emotions as well. So um, I just think this is such a great healing tool, this book. Um, it's Inis Segal's The Secret Language of Your Body. Oh, we're getting some light reflection there. Just going to move around a little bit, um, and uh, we're finding getting lots. Of, as I said, getting lots of feedback, great feedback about it. So if you want to find out more about this book, you can go to the Inner Cigar website, um, which is www.innercigal. I -N -N -A -S -E -G -A -L, or you can go to the Vital website to have a look, which is vitalnatural.com.au. But yeah, a really great healing tool and a good place to start. 
For those of you who've read it, let us know what you think, if you've had any healing experiences, if you've used it to good effect or if it hasn't helped you at all. Um, for those of you that haven't, we'd love to hear your feedback. So thanks and talk to you again soon.